Hey guys, Marina Valley Matters. We're out today at Vanguard Art Gallery. I'm here with our local comedian and actor, Beach Eastwood, who's going to explain a little bit more of a fun, amazing event they have going on tonight. Thank you. Tonight we're hosting an open mic right here at the Vanguard Art Gallery off of Nation, next to the Chase Bank, uh, also formerly off of Eucalyptus Avenue. Uh, we want you guys to come out 7.30 tonight. It's a $2 cover with light refreshments and drinks will be sold, but it's an open mic. It's a clean open mic for everyone, no age limit. If you got teenagers, bring them out. We want all the local talent to come out and just, uh, you know, shed joy and happiness in the community in a clean environment, get out here and just uh, and shine in front of everyone. It's uh, good for the community. I wanna help Vanguard mm -hmm. Art Gallery, you know, raise some funds to keep open and, you know, just keep going. Let's meet people, let's greet people you know, break bread together, everything else, and uh, uh, keep us safe and keep us off the streets and show our talents. And I know you got talents, Marino Valley, so bring them out. So, and let's talk about that. So when you say open mic, who can come? Who can be on the open mic? And what do you expect? I really want to reach out to just the locals out here, but that includes all veterans. We love the veterans come out. I'm a United States Marine Corps veteran myself. But do poetry or songs or poetry songs? Uh, you can. You want to play the spoons? You can come out here and play the spoons <laughs> like your grandpa used to play the spoons. Uh, we're gonna have a keyboard. You want to come out here with a keyboard? We're gonna have mics. You want to sing? Everything. Maybe depending on how many people are gonna be signed up, you can do a three minute, five minute spot. If you want to do comedy, just make sure it's clean. Um, just whatever talent you got. If you can build a birdhouse in 20 seconds, build a birdhouse in 20 seconds. You got That's it. pretty cool. Great. I want to see that. And I heard that the background of this was it originally was at in Riverside, back to the grind. Do you know the history on that? Uh, we did. We used to have an open mic at back to the grind, and it kind of fell off. We actually we hosted through a little group uh, of our own. That we'll explain that tonight if you guys come out. Uh, also got a couple little uh, door prizes if you can uh, answer Ooh, some trivia questions. No and stuff way. Like that. It's nothing big. Yeah, we're not, we're not, I still want to win it anyways. We're not big banking like that yet. <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, bring your talent. Singing, whatever it is. There's some hidden talent in everyone. So if you got it, bring it. Oh, I like that. And what time was that again? Right. 7.30 p.m. at the Vanguard Art Gallery off of Nation and Eucalyptus. And the Stone Ridge Shopping Center and the Super Target Shopping Center. And again, if you've got teenagers, bring them out. Veterans, bring them out. you got grandpas and grandmas, bring them out. Whatever. <laughs> Everyone's got talent. <laughs> That's cute. Your time to shine. Yeah. You guys come out and join them. We're going to take a little bit of a walk around, show you a little bit of some art here that you can come out and purchase. And a lot of this is from the high schools, local high schools. Well, no. Uh, the high schools were in last, uh, last weekend. We had a Youth Art Month uh, uh, exhibition uh -huh. as well as an award ceremony. But uh, what you're looking at is, for the most part, uh, local art. Yeah. Uh, right now you're looking at some of my artwork. Ooh. And then uh, the abstracts that are to your right were done by a gentleman by the name of Juan Carlos Tarib, who lived in Moreno Valley. He recently passed away. Uh, he was in his 70s, but he was born in Argentina and had received a number of national awards for his artwork. Uh, the hawk that's in front of you uh, is a bronze that was done by Marianne Camiso. And Marianne is a high school teacher at uh, Marino Valley High. So oh, wow. It gives you a pretty good idea of some of the talent that yeah. uh, the, uh, the kids uh, have as far as available to them at the, uh, mm. the local high schools. Right. And there's jewelry, there's artwork, there's yeah. books. Yeah. I saw yeah. back there. What are the normal hours of the gallery? Well, because we're all volunteer, it basically comes down to the availability of our volunteers, but we try to be available uh, between one and five at least on a daily basis. And tell us about it. You have a monthly well. art walk? Yeah. Uh, the next one will be, I think it's March the 16th, I think, or the 19th. Um, but it's generally the third Saturday of the month. And um, what time is that? And what that people want to display from, art? Or? Uh, that would be from uh, one to five on that Saturday. And yeah. let's see. Well, we can also put it up on the post too oh, as yeah. well. No, it's uh, March the sixteenth. March sixteenth. Yep. And that again is open to any artist or uh, artisan, uh, craftsperson, 
Uh, the booths are free, so you can't beat that. Yeah, exactly. All right. And uh, you know, basically, we're trying to to do everything we can to to continually support the local arts uh, community here, uh, as well as to help support the local tenants, because when people come out for our events, they also tend to go over to Menchie's and China One, yeah. and you know, to Albertos and such, and uh, you know get a pizza at a round table or what have you. So, uh, so the thing is, is that everybody benefits. And the most important thing is you buy the artwork here. What ends up happening is that you're supporting the local economy, you know, yeah. because, you know, when our Moreno Valley artists end up getting, you know, paid for, for their artwork, what are they doing with that money? They yeah. turn around, go into the grocery store, they're going to the gas station, you know, they're paying their rent or what have you. So, so again, it all stays local, and that's always a good thing. Of so. course. Anyways, by the way, I'm Rick Archer, <laughs> and I'm the president of the Moreno Valley Cultural Arts Foundation. And how long has it been around? Many years. We uh, started at the Moreno Valley Mall in um, uh, August of 2012, and we were there until February of 2014. And then came over here and opened the doors here, uh, May 2014. Wow! So, so yeah, we've got a pretty long history, and uh, and the uh, we also uh, we've got uh, uh, over in the corner here we've got self-published uh, authors and poets uh, that are also local. So the thing is, is that uh, we support all the arts, uh, you know, and obviously you know this is a good example, prime example of the fact that it's the performing arts, it's the visual arts, as well as literary arts. But we've had you know, authors in doing book signings. One of the things that we're trying to revive right now uh, with these gentlemen is also doing po uh, poetry slam. So, so we're trying to do you know, different things that yeah. are, you know, and on top of it, uh, we are the only um, LGBTQ safe space in the entire city. So that's another thing that yeah, we're extremely huge. proud of. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, we're the only nonprofit ever in Moreno Valley to have ever received a national endowment for the grant, uh, arts grant. So those are all you know, major accomplishments yeah. that we're extremely proud of. You know, we've done things to help out local homeless families. You know, we did our empty bowl project where we raised over $3,000 uh, wow. for local homeless families. We did a documentary on that. Uh, the money went to the local uh, Salvation Army here. And it was the proviso that the uh, money had to stay here in Moreno Valley, and it had to be used as far as uh, uh, you know local homeless families. Uh, we just recently did uh, a veterans art exhibition, and Deborah, let's t take you over here to this particular piece over here that was done specifically for that exhibition. All right, but we're doing a lot now as far as with uh, veterans. All right, and this piece was done by a local artist. He is a Vietnam vet, and this is autobiographical in, uh, that he hadn't painted in quite some time, but did this specifically for the exhibition. And this is a, uh, basically him telling his, his story about uh, his time in Vietnam and where he was training a guy uh, to work with an M60 machine gun. And uh, ordinarily that was his duty but he had the young guy who had only been in country for a week at that point, uh, carrying the M60, and he was, had extra ammo that he was carrying for the machine gun on him. Well, they ended up going down a trail, the VC uh, remotely detonated the uh, explosive and killed the fellow that had only been there for a week, wow. but because he was carrying all the extra ammo, that saved his life, wow. all right? So he did receive serious shrapnel wounds uh, he ended up having to be medevaced out, and uh, that was the end of his time in, uh, um, in Vietnam. But this is an immensely powerful piece. Yeah. And when I saw it, and especially when he was telling his story about it, oh my God. You know, I just, yeah. get, I, every time I tell the story, I get goosebumps. Of course, I do right. too. But, but the thing is, is that's why this is just such an important resource here, is the fact that, you know, we have these types of things that are taking place here, yeah. and it's so important. It is. 
So and they all tell a story. So we're we're certainly hoping that everybody will come out and help support uh, you know this very noble experiment that we've. And been doing. I mean, it sounds fun. You guys come out and support this man and all the local artists in our community, right in our backyard. This little hidden gem, <laughs> located off of Nason and Eucalyptus at 7:30 tonight. Anything else? Yeah, well, you know, I think you actually said it because I think, if anything, one of the things I've always said is we're probably one of the best kept secrets in this city. Yeah, <laughs> I would have so, to agree. So let's hopefully turn that all around. Yep, you guys come out and support us tonight, 730. Be here at the Vanguard Art Gallery. For now, Marina Valley Matters, because you matter, and we'll see you guys next